Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to talk about how to avoid burnout in your decor. Now, design has become very mainstream, very popular, and we are being inundated with the likes of Instagram and Pinterest and HGTV with so many beautiful spaces and things that inspire us. And it is very easy to get caught up in a trend and then find yourself in burnout mode. So how to avoid that? Step one, go classic on the bigger pieces. Go classic in maybe on the wall and the things that unless you're willing to change up your wallpaper every few years, maybe stick with things that are, that are going to um, work with lots of different styles. Uh, I'm talking about things like sofas and uh, your bed choice, uh, maybe even your rugs expensive chairs, that kind of thing, right? Because the little stuff can be swapped out easily. Pillows, throws, lamps, art, um, that's all easily interchangeable. Number two, try to avoid trendy pieces. Uh, or if you, if there's a trend that comes around that you really love, say like, uh, you know, the Chevron was really in for a while, um, you know, where we saw the zigzag everything. Um, ECAT was really big for a while, kind of that tribal looking um, style. And, and if you really love something when it comes out and you think it's adorable, go for it. But don't spend a lot of money, unless you really want to, you can, but don't buy a ton of pieces. Just buy enough to satisfy the itch for that trend, um, but don't completely revamp your whole entire decor scheme based on this new trend that has come out. Focus on creating a space that is collected. Now this is a lot of the time the difference between a space that has been designed by a good designer and one where somebody just copied something they saw in a magazine or a um, maybe a catalog or they bought the whole line from Target that season. Um, when I say focus on having a room that is collected. I mean by going thrift store shopping, uh, heirloom pieces, pieces from your travels, uh, pieces given to you by others, things that are meaningful to you, um, things that have a history or a story behind them. Whenever you put pieces like that into your space, it is never going to feel trendy. It is always going to feel like home. It's going to feel like you and it's going to be meaningful and that's what makes a house a home versus just a perfectly pretty matchy matchy staged home that you would see in a house for sale. Okay, number four, move items around in the same room or into other rooms. So don't feel like when you put something on that particular uh, shelf, what on top of that particular book that you can never ever move it ever again, amen. That's not how it has to go. You can take things, move them around, play, um, because that's going to keep it feeling fresh. It's still gonna keep it feeling new. And for me personally, obviously I'm a designer, so I have a big um, stash of stuff, but I like to change art in and out or swap it from one room to another uh, because I do get bored. And, um, and that actually is a fantastic way of keeping it fresh in your house without spending any money. And who doesn't love that? Last but not least, I mean it this time, is be sure you love what you are purchasing. Even if it is trendy, even if it at that moment you have to have it, like right now there was this oh joy has a collection at target and there was this gold lady planter with cute little eyelashes and she's like this and it's so cute and i have an orchid in it and it's it's so cute had to have it right i don't know a year from now I might be bored with it and give it to somebody but had to have it it wasn't that expensive i went for it so i say if you love something go for it if you don't love it later Somebody will be happy to have it. Move it to another place in your house. Maybe you'll love it all over again. That's it for today. I hope that helps you. That is what I am here to do. And I will see you next time. Bye.